Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I believe this is going to be part three of getting the engine back together. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is figure out this whole uh, routing situation with all these lines. Um, the turbo coolant lines. So typically, I think on the stock motor, they go up into the manifold, but uh, we're not going to route them into the manifold because there's really no need to do that. I don't live in you know Alaska, so... Uh, there's an easier way to make it a little bit more uh, less complicated where you just run the coolant lines uh, back into the block and so essentially the coolant lines you don't have to disconnect the coolant lines every time you take the manifold off so we're going to do that mod on this um, I because I'm kind of not super familiar with this motor uh, I believe it was called Z32 wiki uh, follow those instructions I'll put a link in the description and uh, also I'm going to try to get the our manifold on so there's a bunch of coolant lines that we have to take off of the manifold here's the manifold right here uh, also have to clean that sucker up so that's what we'll be doing stay tuned Okay, I'm gonna show you how I routed these lines really quick. So, uh, go on this side, Jonah. All right, so this line right made it curve out. Uh, in hindsight, it would have been nice to have, um, you know, it just come straight back. But when you do the uh, modification to keep the water lines from going through the manifold, that's maybe something to consider. Uh, you probably could get away with just like cutting this and flanging the ends and then you could just have it run straight back, which would be nice. Um, so I ran that to the top of this one, and then this one goes to the right turbo through this other hard line. Uh, yeah, right down here, boom. So using an assortment of clamps and uh, worm clamps, uh, just trying to use what I got around the shop without having to spend too much extra money. I think it's gonna hold good, it's gonna be good, and it's gonna cool our turbos, so. Oh yeah, also, there was a hard line that mounts right here um but in our case it broke because the japanese motor basically looked like it had gotten tossed around pretty bad so a lot of the pipes and like stuff that was on the outside got dented up so i just ran a straight line straight down to this uh to the left turbo so i think it's gonna work i've seen a lot of people on the forums and stuff run it like that jonah show them what you did okay so on the plenum, there was this cooling line that was meant to cool off the throttle bodies, I guess. I think warm up the throttle bodies, warm I think is the right term. Bodies. But we don't really need it. It was all, it ran all the way down here and it was a mess. Yeah, so I, we again, a very common off. mod for the Z. Yep, yeah. uh, very 90s, over-engineered. So we ripped that off and then took the throttle bodies off. They're down there soaking in whatever it's called. PB Blaster. PB They're Blaster. pretty gunked up. Matter of fact, the first time Jonah tried to turn, the, tried to flip the throttle, it was stuck. Oh, yeah, it was stuck. And then we're going to clean all this out because it is completely black in there. And yeah, so next step will be scrub the hell out of plenum. I think the next official step is for this plenum to get put on to the motor. Um, but I still need to figure out something and I think we're also when we modify the throttle bodies we're going to try to drill out the hard lines we'll see if that works or not and then um, these little mounts with the solenoids which I still haven't figured out if I'm going to be running these solenoids or not they basically um, 
mount right here and kind of hold that plenum up. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But right now we're just going to focus on cleaning up the plenum and then I'll figure this out next. Okay, so we took the plenum and we scrubbed it. We got it pretty clean. Um, Use WD-40 PB Blaster. Uh, can you get the inside of that, Joe? Looks a little bit better than before. Um, no more black crud, just soaked in there. I mean, we couldn't get all of it, but I think we, get, we did a pretty good job uh, of getting like at least half of it. We cleaned these out. These are now nice and clean. And the rebuild kit comes with new gaskets for these. Um, so we soaked them down in WD-40 to make sure they wouldn't get any of that corrosion that happens if you leave water on aluminum. Uh, but now they, you know, they're opening nice and smooth now, so that's good. Um, clean those. Clean, cleaned. Uh, I think that's this is the idle air control valve. And again, we have uh, the brand new hose kit. For this and this um, scrub them real good we'll swap these hoses out so that, that's the next thing right we'll put all this thing all this stuff back together um, paint this we, thing yeah we took that we scrubbed it we painted that or we're going to paint that we haven't actually finished painting that yet and what we'll do is we'll reassemble the um, plenum and then we'll probably just set it on there I won't actually bolt it down yet because I have to figure out so these are um, boost control solenoids and the ones that came on our car kind of busted like right they kind of got uh, bent up dented up I bought a used set off of eBay um, and funny enough they're not in much better condition like this thing's bent up I could probably swap this out but then this one's all bent so a couple things I want to figure out is with this setup that we're running we have the Greddy uh, boost controller so I mean I think the, the factory ECU still needs to see a signal from these uh, and that's why we probably still have to run these so I'm going to try to figure out a way to test them or verify if we still need to run them um, and then if I can between the two sets that I have I should be able to get one good set uh, between the brackets that hold the plenum on and the solenoids that actually work even if I have to rewire one of these or something um, and then, then I'll throw that on but I, I think I can get the plenum on and then just put those on because those go on the side. And with that, I have to figure out how to um, connect the hoses for the wastegates, which I know there's a few diagrams out there. shouldn't be that hard, but I want to make sure I get it right. Um, and I think then we will have the plenum on, right? And then, oh, yeah, John, let's show them these hoses that we painted real quick. Oh. Go show them those. So those are the Inner hoses way. for the intake going into the turbos. We sanded them, painted them. I think they look pretty good. We need to... Uh, cut gaskets for those because the rebuild kit does not come with gaskets for those and then this is the um these are the factory uh, pipes for the air from the intercooler going to the turbo and as you can see they're pretty dinged up um i'm not too worried about that i have i got the uh the z1 horse uh, the z1 intercooler piping kit which replaces these top two ones it doesn't replace the bottom ones so you still have to reuse the bottom ones but what I am kind of worried about is the factory mounting points um, for different sensors and stuff. I like that stuff, and the, Z, the Z1 doesn't have it. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to rig that up. I think I have a pretty good idea of what I can do. Um, if it works out, I'll show it to you. Um, but I have to figure that out.
we got the uh, manifold pulled back together with the idle air control valve and the new Z1 lines and the new P we put brand new PVC valves on the bottom plugged up uh, the uh, water lines turn around let me see the front Joe but we put the uh, throttles throttle throttle body. bodies yeah throttle bodies we put the throttle bodies back in um, and the time lapse showed me cutting these out I was gonna try drilling them out like it says to do on the uh, wiki page, but it's too much. Yeah, it's uh, me and the drill aren't really on good terms. All right, so John's gonna throw it on and we're just setting it on there to see what it looks like. Oh God. Let's go. God, thing's heavy, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is a heavy motor. So yeah, the, uh, these lines would go into the P PVC valves, these lines right here. Still got a few more things to do, but making pretty good progress. You know, that one lines up nice. And then we have to put the brackets, those brackets I showed you earlier would go there. Sweet. All right, so that's it for this video. We'll see you next time.